Hey everybody, uh, you might notice we're not in The Sims today, we're in Enzoi, I'm so excited. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on how to make a Zoi because, you know, uh, I've been playing uh, a little bit in this game, learning the controls, and I feel like there's a lot to learn, a lot to check out, and we've only got a very limited time with this little character creator, so I think if you want to hop in and get right to making a Zoi, this could be really helpful. So. We're gonna go in, you're gonna come in after the game intro, which is absolutely beautiful by the way, but I'll, I won't ruin that for you guys. Uh, you're gonna come to your little workstation, right? We're gonna click new game. But before you do that, you gotta, you gotta pet the cat. <laughs> and then we can start a new game. We're gonna create a Zoe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to create my joy of life, uh, Sim Gabrielle, Oop, if I can type it correctly. Robinson. So you're just going to give them their name and then you're going to hit OK. Right now we cannot create a, f I don't think we can create a family just yet, um, but we can create the Zoe. So going to come in and you're going to see, um, you know, what does, Ra what does Gabrielle uh, look like? They're going to put the last name first because this is a Korean uh, company that makes it. So they're going to do it in the Korean name style where the last name or the family name goes first. So we're going to have our profile. Right now, this is still in development, so we can't we can't put in our sexuality, but I'm glad that's coming in the future. You can change your age group to child, young adult, adult, middle-aged, and elder. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do young adult. Uh, you can change your gender, and I kind of love that it keeps literally everything and just kind of puts a masculine frame or a feminine frame in it to get you started, and if you, you're creating... Uh, siblings or something I can imagine or twins that are boys and girls this could be a really helpful um, thing and then we have our trait traits are really really cool um, and you kind of have a good spectrum to choose from you have you know dreamer mediator and they're both kind of similar but focus on different aspects and um, they have keywords so easygoing affable and decisive uh, composed, passive, and principled. So they kind of give you pros and cons built into each um, trait here. Uh, so you'll have values here as well. Uh, coexistence, safety, rule-abiding traditionalists. I believe the Zoys um, will gain like satisfaction through pushing their values and or performing things that uh, abide by their values. Um, you have your little description here built-in personality so for the dreamer the dreamer prefers maintaining peace and avoiding conflicts hoping their current comfortable state will persist um there's so much to read through all these so i'm gonna let you guys go through and experience that um but i love that it has the characteristics here too it prioritizes inner peace displays a philosophical nature frequently feels lethargic so yeah you're a dreamer you know you're kind of more comfortable in uh, your mind the real world can be kind of disappointing because it doesn't live up to your expectations your sleep gauge decreases quickly you know so you need a lot of sleep you need a lot of recovery time uh we're doing gabrielle today so i think when i looked through go getter was the one i feel suits her most you know i thought this was her but it might not be so much let me see maybe more adventurous yeah maybe adventurous Free-spirited, cheerful, extroverted. Sounds more like her. She looks for accomplishment. The energy to quickly accomplish tasks with overflowing passion. Uh, interest in new settings and challenges. Frequently feels excited. Bored lasts for a longer time. So that's kind of a negative trait we have. Energy decreases slowly. That's great. And enjoys conversation. I think this is actually way more of uh, Gabrielle. I thought go get her, but go get her kind of is introverted, which I don't think she really is. So we're going to select this trait. We don't have a desired life yet. It's still in development. Um, and then appearance. So this is going to be where the bulk of your Zoe making goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to Zoe presets. And then once you do that, you're going to see, you can see all the clothes that they come, you know, preset wearing. Uh, I'm just going to quickly take them off. You can hit the eye symbol uh, to see what it looks like with and without really quickly. And then if you don't like it, you can hit this back kind of button and remove it. And that's what I'm going to do for her so we can have kind of a good base to work with. And you can also save. Like I saved um, 
the preset for Esther. It's so funny, like seeing what works in The Sims, like for face shape and stuff, and seeing the difference in like a real more realistic uh, aspect, like how as a Zoe, uh, Esther really kind of, she looks a little funny, uh, but I love her still. <laughs> She has such like sharp angular features that she really, uh, it makes her look fun as a sim, but like you said, as a Zoe, maybe not. Um, so you have all these really, um, nice presets you can, you can start with. And I do like starting with presets, but not the full outfit ones. But if you just want to hop in the game and play, like these presets are great, but I like to start with a preset face. So let me take these off again. And what I do is I find manipulating eyes and eyebrows and hair and air and ears and, and jawline is easy, but getting um, a lips and nose shape you like is a little harder for me once I move the lips around in the detailed edit mode down here. Um, they just can get a little wonky and, and get, go off the rails quickly. So that's what I usually like to do is just kind of click through and see who has like a nose and a lip shape we really like. They have so many uh, great Zoe faces here that you can start with. Let's see. This one kind of looks good. Might just go through some more. I like I like their uh, lip shape for Gabrielle. This one might work okay as well. I think this is the one I started with for Esther because it, it kind of gave me her vibes. I like this face a lot too. I might start with her. Um, so yeah, so because it's easier again to change the eyes, in my opinion. So then we can go in here and we're in basic edit mode. Um, like I said, they have a symmetry mode you can turn off if you want to um, kind of manipulate independently of, of the other. If you have a sim that has kind of a lopsided smile or, you know, you want to do like maybe a lazy or a overly hooded eye or something and then we can do that but I like to have it on at least for your base and then <laughs> and then you can do your fine details outside of symmetry mode if you want but um so basic basic edit mode you can kind of push and pull everything you know um change their eyebrows and stuff you know the eyes are fun because you can move the whole eye you can move the eye w like wider as far as more open and then wider as far as like elongating. And then you can also change the orientation of the eye if you want it a little bit more downturned like the, for that puppy eye, which I, I love. I usually give my Sims a bit of a puppy eye. I feel like everyone likes the siren eyes where it's like, um, like really, really upturned. And I tend to do a little bit of a downturn sometimes. Um, for my Sims, uh, or Sims, my, well, now my Zoys <laughs> used to be Sims. Like you can see the eyeshadow and everything. We're going to actually, can I take the makeup off right now? Yeah. You can take some of the makeup off if that's also kind of getting in your, your way here. There we go. Take some of that off. So we're going to keep going in the, um, the face presets. So we're going to kind of work with the face. I think if I pull in the cheeks a little bit, maybe it's in the detailed edit mode. There's one of them where I thought if you pulled in her cheeks, yeah, it kind of gives her a little bit of dimple. You can almost give your sim like really structured sides of their cheeks, which I tend to do. And then we're going to give her kind of wide set. Also her eyes are kind of on the narrow side. Ooh. So also to move the face around like I am, you're going to use your left mouse button to just move it. Your right mouse button is going to rotate. And then my scroll wheel is going to back away or zoom in. So yeah, she has kind of 
I guess I got the eyes as close as I can. So we're going to go into detail edit mode and we are going to actually move some of this down more. She's got pretty kind of closed up eyes. She's not so heavy lidded though. So we can actually move her eyelids up if we want. Sometimes you have to manipulate it to get the shape that you're looking for. But I want to give her some, some kind of heavy eyelids. Uh, let's see. All right. So I think if we want to do eyebrows, you have to go into the eyes. And they have all these different kind of like eye presets for uh, the kind of coloring you want for your eyes. So they have these presets, but you can also go like right into these color wheel uh, things and then you can change. So say like this is a little too brown. I kind of want it to be a little like more muted, like yellowy or the green is too teal. I want it more green, you know, and you can change her eye color because some of these are more du duo. Some of them have like your really kind of cool, unique eyes that you can play with different stuff. If you want that ring light effect. Um, and if you want to do a custom color, um, like I just did how I made it like more muted, you can add this plus button and now Anytime while you're still in this uh, saved game, your new swatch will be there. So just like I can move these just for quick reference for myself so I can have those there and I can and I won't forget. And you can also like change your iris size. The bigger the iris, kind of the younger your Zoe will look, the smaller it is, the more the older or the more masculine sometimes they can look. Pupil size as well. You can change it. <laughs> If you like a really big dilated pupil uh, to make them look more relaxed sometimes you know a smaller makes them look more alert more focused uh, in on something so I kind of like it somewhere in the middle color ratio for these color blending ones you can have more green have more brown this one I want to cut in the middle and then color blending so you can kind of change how harsh that outer rim is and I mean, look at that. You can see like the high details in this. And I don't even have a super high end computer. I have like middle of the road, you know, gaming setup here. So this is a very high end game. <laughs> it's going to, unless you have a very good computer, it might struggle a little bit. Um, Gabrielle also has pretty thin eyebrows, actually. I think I'm going to put that down a little bit. Yep. And you can change this outer brow bone. So... It's starting to look like her pretty much already because we got a uh, nose and a lip we really liked and just to play around with the lips some more we can make it more like heart shaped lips where that you get that real V in the bottom lip. You can change the filtrum to be narrower or wider. We can do a little wider. Um, you can bring in the corners here again to make it more like cutesy and heart shaped and then you can bring in the outer if you really want to give that wide smile or that kind of pout, that puckered pout. It's up to you guys. Um, but yeah, I really liked kind of a lot going on with his face already. Uh, and you can change like the nostrils, how wide or up or down. You can change really how the bottom of the nose affects the philtrum, like how connected it is. You can, I believe, uh, change like if you want to put a little bit more of a, a a bump in their nose or that nice strong Roman nose. You can take it down. You can take the bridge of their nose higher or lower. I think we're going to go up kind of high for ours. Right. I think we're starting to get there. Right. And then I'm gonna give her a little, little bit more of a bottom lip. Make sure our chin is strong. I'm going to go back to basic edit mode and we can change her chin. Her chin may be a little strong. And you can also like give them more of a soft palette if you, if I'm doing a Zoe that wants to represent more what I look like, I'm probably going to have more of that little bit of, oop, that little bit of a double chin where my uh, ones I probably make for game are going to look, you know, snatched. <laughs> so 
So yeah, actually I wanna actually make her nose a li little bit bigger, just a little bit. I tend to give my uh, characters, I guess is a better word to start saying now <laughs> if we're playing this game as well. Um, a prominent nose, I kind of like having prominent nose on my, my characters, that's just a thing I like. Um, you can absolutely change their ears, um, how much their ear, where their ears are, kind of higher or lower. Uh, if we go into detailed edit mode, you can um, move around a lot of parts of their ears. We can give them like more of an earlobe. And like say how it's kind of hard to see right now. We can go into the studio and you can change the expression they have. You know, you can see how they look like when they smile, make sure everything lines up well. Uh, you can change the background that they're in <laughs> if you want to, uh, which when we get into the photo mode, I'll show you a lot more of that. Uh, but for now, we'll still keep it here. I know a lot of people, sometimes they like to have like a really like harsh black background on, the, on their stuff for uh, certain photos. And you can do any of that in here, changing the color of the background. Um, but what I wanted to do was change the main lighting to move to the side we're trying to work on. So it makes it really easy to do it. Now I can really see what I'm doing with this ear. And uh, yeah, so it's really, really nice that you can just move the light around. And it kind of tells you where your standard lighting should be when you go back. And you can move up, down, kind of wherever you want. You're gonna do a little bit above. So, because sometimes you want to see the hair and everything else and it's really hard and you can just hit the reset button if you forget how to get it back to its original state. Same with the poses and stuff. If you've gone through like the whole list and you don't want to hit back a million times, you can just hit reset. And obviously if you want to hide the whole UI, it's control shift U. I don't think I can do it right now because I'm recording through my, uh, my uh, processing software. So it might be a little hard. To, to actually press that. But if you're just in game normally, you can press that and it'll hide all of this. So you can just see your Zoe and you don't have to worry about it. Um, yeah, so also we have eyelashes, <laughs> which is great. I love always these little kind of like wispy uh, ones. I just feel like you can see more of their makeup underneath when you want to do makeup and stuff. And it looks really good. I think the only other thing we forgot, I didn't, I think the only thing I forgot now is kind of her jaw but I do want to keep kind of giving her like a I don't want to make it too thin because I think that's when they start to look a little strange like even now without her I wanted to give her her dimples but really without her cheeks she's starting to look a little a little too like unnatural there now we can go back to hair and you can have kind of all the hairs hairs only with color options so hairs with the color you can change you know instead of like this one there is no obviously no color option <laughs> you're just getting bare bones there uh, and then you can cut hair you can customize and like the customizable hairs are fun because if you go into, again, our little color wheel, you have this thing at the bottom called length and you can actually make it shorter, which for Gabrielle is exactly what we want. And you can put edge softness if you don't want it to look so blunt. If you want it to blend a little more. My screen is not high res enough to make this look good, but, um, so we're gonna go a little more blunt for Gabrielle, but that's fine, that works really good for her, I think. Uh, we have this kind of like teal highlight that comes naturally in this hair. Say I don't want that. And I want it to like match her eyes really well. So I'm actually going to use a color that we took exactly from her eyes earlier and put it right in her hair as the highlight to kind of make it all match. Honestly, this hair is really close to her natural color. Maybe the base color could be like a slight more like uh, auburny color. I do notice that the pinks are real strong in this. You gotta really get uh, a nice brown. There we go. Just a little bit more auburny. I 
think I'm gonna change her eyes a little bit. I think I made them just a little, little too sleepy. Want them to look a little bit, maybe it's just this right here. There we go. Maybe it's the bottoms I gotta come up a little bit. Sometimes it's hard, you know, you have so many options. It's like, which one do I need to get the look? But there she goes, she looks a little happier now. All right, and then so we've done the hair, we've changed the colors. Like this one has a lot of color options. Sometimes other hairs won't have, this one does actually. Uh, these do, see this one? Okay, this is a good one. This one only has like two color options. So sometimes they won't have as many um, as the others do. Was this the one I had? No, no, it was not this one. Okay, it was this one. There we go. So I gotta go back and um, see this is when I should have saved my base color so I wouldn't lose it again, but I didn't do that. So learn from my mistakes. When you get, when you get that color you like as your base color, literally just save it because if you try another hair and you got to come back it's really hard and like i said i want to go through now and i wanted that highlight now instead of having to copy and paste it over i literally can just press it and it'll match exactly uh the sub color we can make that match our eyes so that brings that color in and everything looks good or if i want to try the other highlight with the highlight color from her eyes instead of the color it was we can also do that, but I think I like it better. The kind of auburny brown. Also, I noticed our eyebrows are not matching. So we're gonna go to eyebrows. I'm gonna hit our, our details thing. Now this is change all hair color to match. <laughs> so, but what instead what I can do is usually you would probably do this before you did your hair. Uh, but I can just go ahead since I've saved it and make them match now. So it'll be the same exact color. And in fact, I like eyebrows maybe just a smidge darker than the natural color. Just ever so slightly because it just helps these thin eyebrows stand out. So for the most part, that's going to be our, our face. All right, so we can, did we do skin? We did not do skin. Now we have this skin. Uh, and this is where you're gonna really get a lot of your rest of your details. You can pick your skin color. Like I think Gabrielle might have a little bit more of a sun-kissed glow about her. She lives in Oasis Springs. So I kind of want her skin to have like this warm, warm undertone. Or maybe not even warm undertone, just like a little bit of a bronzy uh, tone to it. So we'll give her that skin tone. And now we can play with the cheeks. I think this is where I could do the dimples before. I forgot. So you can take them out. You can take them in. If you really want that chiseled look. Uh, brow crease. You can really bring in the brows or let them uh, have a prominent brow bone. You can give them their egg yosal. If you're familiar with uh, K-pop. Korean beauty uh, standards. The eye bags are, can be really pronounced and it's considered really cute, um, youthful looking, where it's funny because in Western standards, usually if you have eye bags, it, it makes you look older. So that's something if you want it more prominent or not, depending on on uh, if you think it's cute or not. I think for Gabrielle, it's a no, but I definitely would put it on other characters for sure. Uh, our nose bridge, kind of how prominent are your nose, nasal, it says nasal bridge, but it's really your nose tip and your nasal bridge. So how um, defined do you want that? Uh, we'll put it in the middle somewhere. You can do smile lines. You know, if they're a little older, if they're a little more uh, mature. Same with the lip lines. You can have a little bit more a defined like outer lip line, which actually I like a lot. Cleft chin. You know how, and to me, I don't know if chin cleft, I always thought that was like the part like prominent part in the middle of your chin but this one kind of just gives more definition to the chin and also the jawline so you can have kind of a stronger um like corner of your jaw especially for like uh 
really fit or more masculine looking sims. I mean, I like it on feminine sims too. I think uh, Gabrielle's gonna have a nice jaw corner as well, just cause the hair kind of hides it. So putting it back in kind of, or making it a little bit more prominent, I think adds to her face. And then you can do your skin glow. Do you like that glass skin dewy look? Um, especially for pictures where you're playing a lot with light, uh, you might like this. Do you like a matte look? Uh, or natural healthy. I like a little bit of glow and if you're looking for freckles and stuff That's gonna all be in makeup. So we're gonna get there next. So we can just hit close We did our eyes already. I kind of skipped ahead to that <clears throat> But you can do your eyes Then your makeup. So this is gonna be like kind of your facial contour What do you want to bring more like prominent? You know, do they have like a strong forehead? Um you know, is their cheeks bones really prominent? Do they have more of, um, you know, like, uh, chubby cheeks do you want to bring out? You know, kind of more of an all over light contour. Do they have deep set eyes? You know, do they have like kind of this gives that, that traditional like nose contour down the sides and into the eye sockets, which I think I might use for Gabrielle. I like this one. Then you have your blush. This is where your freckles will be. So if you really wanted like heavy freckles, you would click it and you can go in and you can actually set the intensity. Uh, you can change the color of the freckles, how much gloss is in it. You know, you can change the freckle intensity. You know, if you just want a little hint of freckles or you really want them to be strong, you can make them darker. You can play with all of that. Gabrielle is pretty... Um, pretty plain so this is just change where the blush placement is sometimes it'll give them like a little mole here or there um, but I'm just gonna give her I don't know if I like the lower blush placement I think I might do this one where she would have a bit of a tan or a bronziness to the top ridge of her nose there um, and this blush is a little bit more bronzy so I think I like this one if we want to saturate it a little bit more we can do that See how orange it is now on her cheeks, but say I like that color, but I'm just going to fade it out a little bit, right? Just, just a hint of it, but actually I think I like the intensity, uh, for the, actually for the cheeks, no, I like that. And then if I want her nose to be a little bit more like tanned, you know, and we can bring it more like a brown and change the color across her nose a little bit. Maybe just a little bit more back to pink. So it's like I want her nose to have some color to it, but maybe maybe her blush has actually got a little bit more color because that's where she puts her makeup. So you can kind of play with those things. And then the freckles, I guess. I, oh, I can take it away. So like I, I like the mole maybe for another character, but for this one, we're going to take it away because Gabrielle, I don't think, has any. We close that. We'll go into eyeshadow. Uh, I get... Gabrielle's not a huge makeup girly, so might just do like a soft wash of color. I know it looks intense here, but again, we can go into our details and I can turn this intensity way down, way down. Right, so I can tell it's this is about here and then we have eyeshadow B. We're going to turn that down. That's the under eye there. We're going to turn that down and then eyeshadow C, which is kind of like the... The dark dark color we're just gonna just a little bit just a hint I don't really uh, want her to have strong uh, eyeshadow and then we're gonna have just a tiny uh, tiny bit here and again I'm gonna turn this all down a little bit um, the intensity of this can be like really really subtle and I think I'd like it to be more like matching her eye color so we're gonna do that uh, upper eye line again I want this to be like brown we might bring it like a little bit darker something like that just a little bit softer and then the lower eye line I might have like again brown and kind of kind of soft just just a little pop to her eyes I don't want it that her makeup to be strong at all but you really can customize this seven ways from Sunday you have so much 
freedom and I'm sure when the full game comes out uh, we're gonna have even more like I, I imagine makeup is gonna be one of the huge things they add uh, because if they're if they're promoting to the Western and the Eastern market makeups makeup is serious business <laughs> makeup is serious serious business uh, and then we have uh, lips this not only kind of gives you like if you want a gloss or you want a lined lip but it also gives you like that lip texture so like this one doesn't have such a strong texture this one has a much stronger texture uh, this kind of gives you that uh, what do they call it gradient lip but it's also a bit overlined too which is a uh, you know can be really popular I like this one just like a softness to it we can make it I was even thinking like a more like corally orangey color for her something like this maybe slightly darker maybe just ever so slightly darker yeah something something like that because her colors are kind of like peachy coral so I'm gonna go a little bit into the coral and then you can have this if I want this to be more like bright pinky net neutral you know uh, more like brown we can do that I think I'm gonna bring it up a little bit there we go something like that so it's not so saturated you got more like dynamics there and then the gloss you can change kind of the tint of the gloss I'm gonna leave the gloss as is uh, so that's the makeup so that's her face oh yeah her hair I needed to shorten her hair again so we'll go back into that detail and just shorten it back to the length I wanted it which is about to her sh no actually I think it's just past her shoulders like right about there so that's uh, where her it where her hair is and then we're gonna go into body you can change your body weight now you know and it does affect the face so or you can be very very thin uh, again we're gonna probably leave her in the middle she is on the thin side she's gonna have some muscle a little bit not too crazy maybe even that's too much maybe like that Got a, just a hint a hint of definition uh, and then you can change your neck you can change your shoulders Kind of bring them up to or down wherever they kind of gonna sit. I think you can change also kind of them from the back. You know, if that's easier to see. Biceps, you know, your waist. How how snatched is your waist? I'm gonna give her room for her organs. She's a. Uh, She's a, she's a girl that needs to be able to go out there and work. We can have our hips and thighs. I might give her a little bit more thigh action there, and then calves. Yeah, strong legs. She's on her feet all day, so she needs some strong legs. All right, so I like that for the body. Again, you can kind of um, it has a lot of room in the in the bust. Uh, you know for a change uh, a lot of people have been complaining that the tush could use a little bit more <laughs> um, I'm fine with it it's fine it doesn't have to be crazy but I do think other people who have different body types should be able to express themselves if they want to make themselves as a zoi so I do think you know they need to not be too afraid of getting a little extreme with the body sliders I mean them I'd rather them give us too much that uh, uh, as far as how far we can go then not enough so uh, yeah yeah uh, I think just because I don't know if I'd use it doesn't mean it shouldn't exist so I think definitely they should give us a little bit more more stretch and, and freedom in the body sliders especially the face ones are great you really can do a lot but uh, the body needs more and I would love some like how the face has overlays I'd love some overlays for the body as well if they ever got to that so now is the fun time now is the time for clothes so you can do outfit presets and they have a lot of um great ones and we, we <laughs> this hat we might use something like this today this is kind of uh to be honest this is gabrielle's vibe but i'm going to click through a couple other things just to show you you know this is such a cute outfit oh my goodness i'm 
I love it. Um, then they have this Clo and MD, which looks like uh, somebody went in here and designed a lot of these uh, outfits or coordinated them. So you have some really cute stuff uh, to start with. And then if you like it, like I like the skirt, but I don't like the jacket. I can go into tops. I can change the top. Uh, I can, if I want to add my own texture, I don't have a strong enough PC to run this uh, generative AI texture. It will pop up for me saying I can't do it, but I do have textures I could load. So let's just do this little pink pattern and I can click it. And now my shirt has this cute little mermaid texture and you can kind of change how shiny it is, change like how big the scale of the pattern is. If I want it to be a bigger scale, um, you, can do, oops, you can do that. You can kind of spin her around so you guys can see. Uh, horizontal position, you can kind of rotate it around. Vertical position, move it up or down. So yeah, you can have a lot of fun with uh, textures and I believe some clothes also can be customized and then oh yeah customize so we can customize outfit we can pick the shirt okay so we can okay so it tells us we can change like the bottom of the shirt we can change you know where it lands where it fits us how it fits us we can change the neck of this, like the neck of this for me clips. So maybe I want something that's a little lower. I want a V neck and then sleeves. We can add sleeves, right? So then you would hit this little check mark that says, okay. And then we can go. And now I can take my, my color or my texture and I can put my texture on this shirt I just made. So you can absolutely like have fun, um, customizing things and going crazy like there the sky is the limit you can you can really have so much fun here i'm gonna go back to the pre-made outfits because i really um oh i think i have only with color options okay now we can look at it so i want to go back to this i'm going to take see that necklace i gotta go ahead and go back to my body and fix my neck here because my neck oh look at that oh buddy okay Huh, I wonder why the necklace, there we go. Now the necklace fits. I'm not sure why that clipping issue was happening, um, but it was. Okay, so now we can go back. My necklace fits. I'm gonna take off the hat. So on the left, remember I showed you, if you don't like something, let's, let's see it without the hat, without the glasses. Do I like them? Do I like it with the hat and without the glasses? Not really. So I'm just gonna take both of these off and leave her with kind of like this let me see if the bottoms i mean she would probably wear these shorts but let's just um let's just look Whoop. see if it'll let us like uh change the shorts we can go in the left here pants shorts mini skirts so we can uh change them up Ooh, see she might wear more like these rolled up ones kind of got leather Oasis Springs would never. I kind of like these. This is very beachy. That's cute. Kind of longer shorts if we're a little more modest. If it was me in real life, it would be this. Uh, that because I'm just a kind of girl. But my Zoe, she's got the legs, so she can get away with this. Uh, outerwear. So we have this, which means we can change the top underneath. We can change it if we want like this little butterfly top, or we want you know <laughs> this little black tank underneath. You can change it to whatever you want. You know, our girl, our girl does like stripes. Um, so maybe we'll have this little striped shirt. I think that's the main, yeah. Maybe we'll have this like blue striped shirt underneath her red shirt. And her little uh, sandals. So we're going to go to shoes. I really like these sandals, but I would like to make them in a brown leather color. So I'm just going to do this. I might lighten them up and make them a little, there you go, a little warmer color because that's kind of what she would be wearing. Um, and then we have 
you'll notice the jewelry is not in the outfit category. The jewelry is going to be in the accessories. So now we can go into hats. We can change whatever kind of hat we want her to wear. I don't really want her wearing a hat, but you could. Uh, again, I wear too. If we want her wearing glasses, the glasses are super cute. They do have reflections on them. She actually looks really cute in these. <laughs> um, so necklaces. I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, it'll show up kind of underneath this shirt. So, but I'll go ahead and give her a little bit of a of a necklace here because she normally would have one. And then her earrings, these are kind of big. Does she have like smaller, just little, maybe just something like this, just something simple. And let me make sure, yeah, that main color might need to be a little deeper gold there. There we go. Just so it shows up. She's looking good. I, the longer I look at her, the more I think her I need to move her mouth up a little bit. So we would go back to face, basic edit mode. I'm just going to move her mouth up just so slightly, just a little bit. Uh, okay, so back to accessories. I think I'm done. We could, Let's do her nails. I think she does have fairly just simple nails. We can put, again, whatever color we want. I could go back and put that texture on the nails. Uh, pattern scale. Let's really zoom in there so we can see it. So we could have like mermaid, mermaid nails. I might actually bring in something a little darker so we can see more of it. I think I have a darker one. Yeah, let's do the darker pink so I can actually see it. Maybe one more. Let me actually go maybe for the red. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we can see it. Let's do a nice kind of cute nail pattern there. Custom nails. Um, and then I think that's everything we wanted to do for her. You have some hair options too, but... I don't think any of these are, are going to do it. So, so we're happy with our Zoe, right? What we want to do now is take a few pictures. You can do this when you actually go to upload to canvas, but I like to do it before I take a lot more options. <laughs> so we're going to go into photo mode now at the top. Um, so if you didn't see what I did at the top, we have filter and you can play with these filters. They're fun. They're, to me, they're not great, but I think they're a good start. Hopefully that we, ha hopefully these aren't literally the finished ones and these are just kind of samples of what could be possible. Um, and then photo mode and then facial capture. Again, facial capture is where the Zoy, you'll download an app to your iPhone, I believe it has to be iOS, and the Zoy will imitate your actual facial like actions. So you can have them like talk <laughs> or animate in if you want to have them speaking or something. So if you want to have a custom expression you can't find in the photo editor, you can do it with your own face, which is kind of interesting. A little scary for me, but <laughs> pretty interesting. So we have photo mode. So is this, this is our photo folder. This kind of gives you how to move the camera around. So we can move WASD, um, QE. Uh, if you're used to tab mode in Sims, then you're used to these controls. And then I use a lot of the mouse, drag, rotate, like I was saying earlier. So I always love a good three quarter angle. Um, you got portrait mode, which you can't really see. Let me see. Uh, you got your the bottom here, bottom right. You can do the facial capture again camera options so we can change our field of view how how zoomed in how zoomed out do we want to be our depth of field which i'll show you it kind of shows you how much blur like even her certain areas up front now are getting blurred um we can change the background right now i don't have a background on so actually let's go ahead and go back and do that so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go to studio i'm gonna change the background i think i'm gonna give her this like nighttime 
uh, and the basketball court in San Myshuno. <laughs> in the basketball court um, in the city. Uh, let's see, what kind of lighting? Do I want the lighting to be kind of more up? I think it were like a little bit more, dra more dramatic lighting. Still want to see her though. Really good. And I can change, um, I think I can change the color of the lighting if I want it to be a little more, like, to blend in with where she is. I think I'm just going to leave it white, though, because I think, like, a street light would be pretty white. Um, so, yeah, so let's give her a few here. Let's keep that. I like the kind of overhead. There we go. Just something a little dramatic. Um, and now we can go up here back to photo mode. And what I like to do is uh, they have the expression expressionless. Uh, at the very bottom they have mouth open, which I kind of like because you can see their little teeth, their little teethers, which is so cute. And then you can have them pose. And I like the pose for photo because it goes through a range. But they can like raise their arm, have the little enzoy. Um, they can stand confidently. And they'll animate and just, just stand there. And you can you can pause them if you're like, oh, I really want to take a picture of this. So let's zoom in. You can go down here at the bottom right to screen ratio. If I want to, you know, make this a vertical shot. If I want it to be one to one. Which I kind of like that, like, it's almost like if it was, as if it was for Instagram. I want to change my camera to be a little, well, I'll lose the background if I'm too high above her. I really like the angle from this shot, but we want the background. So maybe we'll have her, like, dreamily, confidently staring off into the distance. Uh, and then we're going to save that ratio. And we're just going to press this uh, center circle and press a uh, photo. So we're going to save. And then if we want portrait mode, it, remember that depth of field for the camera? You can change the depth of field here. So how blurry do you want it? I like kind of the stronger light like uh, reflections there. So we're going to do that. Um, we could have her be smiling. Maybe just laughing. It's a little, me just smiling. <laughs> the expressions can be a little uh off-putting sometimes uh and then i'll have her we have a lot of dancing you can do the face heart one which is kind of cute let's zoom like all the way in for this so like this might be her cover photo and then maybe i'll want the ratio to be like widescreen here oh that's cute that's like really for your phone background all right so let's do wide shot let's save that and then we'll take this. So we get a nice background. She's really cute. Save. Say, okay, I didn't really like that. I want to look like she's looking at the camera. I really like when it looks like they're looking at the camera. There we go. And then we save. And again, I, I like this other one where they go through a set. So we're going to take a full body shot, right? Let's change our ratio again to... Um, maybe we'll just do the 4 by 3 and we will go into pose. If you lose the, the pose um, options, just click the Zoi and this will pop back up. Uh, we're gonna pose and I wanna do pose for photo. And you'll see she'll just go through a few and we can pause and then we can take our picture. Again, I'm gonna have her be like a full body shot here, maybe a little bit from above. No, I still like the background, so. We'll do, well, the light's coming from this angle, so let's be from the where the angle, the angle that the light is, and I want to zoom right in so she's like perfectly centered in the frame. There we go. We'll take a shot. Save. Uh, I can close this out. And then we'll hit play again, and she'll go through into another pose. And then we can pause, and we can take that shot. Let's try this one, maybe in the actual vertical one here kind of like the basketball hoop still being in the shot so then we'll save and then we'll take the photo there save and then 
play. And she'll just kind of go through. And then she'll just cycle through the same poses over and over again. Until you're ready for something else. You know, they'll dance. <laughs> they can do all kinds of silly stuff. You know, they can do the V sign. Which, actually, that's super cute. Um, and then they have, like, couple shots. Which, I think, once you can create a family, you might be able to have more than one Zoy um, in here. But right now, <laughs> that's cute. Oh, she's got her little coffee and everything. You can sit on a couch. I guess we're going to have different backgrounds. I'm assuming we're going to have furniture and backgrounds and stuff that we can use to make these shots look um, more natural. Because right now, it looks like she's sitting on a bar stool, but we don't have one. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so you can just kind of have her standing there and take a cute photo of your Zoe. There you go. Okay, so we've done that. We've gone through, we've taken a lot of photos. We can go back now. Um, and you certainly can, you know, take photos in here. You can, again, hide the UI. Again, I can't right now just because of the way I'm recording it. My uh, recording software doesn't like me trying to control shift kind of things. I don't know when I'm uh, I usually record an OBS, but I'm trying something else today. Oh, look at the shine on those earrings. Holy moly. Okay, so yeah, if you wanted to get close in, you could remove the UI and actually take this super detailed, super close photo. <laughs> uh, if you wanted to. But now we're going to go through and upload to Canvas. So, now we know. So we got Gabrielle. And, uh, making my sim into a zoi that's not how you spell zoi that's how you spell zoi uh tag and we'll just say uh sky and thread gaming for me so you guys know if you want to find me um I, I see a lot of like cute girl uh pretty zoi you know just whatever <laughs> Whatever you think describes them. And then here you're going to do your images, right? So we took images and say, you know, I don't mind if they want to have the outfit and stuff. Maybe I don't want them to have my face. If my character is something I'm using for me, I don't want them to have it. You can, you don't have to upload presets. You can upload outfits. You can upload like body presets. It, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do it all. I'm going to do it all because, I, you know. I just, I don't mind if people want to play with everything, but, um, you don't have to, or you say, Hey, you know, I'm just uploading the Zoe. The outfit is kind of, I, I use my own textures or whatever. I don't want you guys using it. Whatever. You can totally have full control over uh, what you share. So now I already took photos because you can go and take a photo now if you want to and go through all of that. But I already did that because I wanted to have fun. So we can just open it up and it'll take you to um, your, where your photos are and we took plenty of photos. So I want to take one of these like good face shots and put that, um, as the main photo so people can see her. Uh, and then I like to have like a full body shot. Well, maybe we'll do this one and then we'll do like the full body shot. Maybe the B was cute. All right, we got room for one more. So we have another favorite shot we did. We did the kind of the big open body shot. There you go. So now you can see Gabrielle completely as a Zoe and you can see kind of the photos I took of her. Uh, we didn't have a contributor, but I think what's gonna happen is if you took someone's Zoe maybe, like you downloaded a Zoe and then you modified it, right? You're like, hey, I want to give Gabrielle a new outfit. Or, or, you know, somebody else. You can put, like, the original name or, or whoever kind of, like I said, contributed to the Zoe in any way. You can put their names here and it'll help probably direct them back to to share the credit for that. So we've done everything now. We've, we've put our, our tags. We've put our content. We've put our title. Um, and now we're just going to upload to Canvas, which is, if you play Sims, it's kind of like the gallery. So now... You can see everything up, up here right now. 
all the cool stuff people are making. They're making absolutely amazing Zoys. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, all these different creators. And, you know, we got creators from everywhere now. I'm gonna go through and just leave a like on a couple real quick. <laughs> this one's funny. I'm gonna leave a like. Um, they're cute. Right, so we're just gonna leave some likes because people deserve it. And yeah, so you can go home. I can go to my profile and you can see, you know, I played the other, you know, the day and made a couple and, um, you know, got our profile. I haven't fully filled it out yet, but you can do that. So you can go there. You can see who's trending. A lot of fun stuff. You can see some I've already liked. <laughs> I've already left hearts for. So. This one on the home screen, too. I was like, wait a minute. That one's really cute. Okay. So that's Canvas. And then if we wanted to, we could go on Canvas. And I believe we can... Um, if we click, yeah, we can download it. Absolutely can have all the fun you want. If you don't want to make a Zoi, you can just go to um, Canvas and, and use one. Uh, and yeah, and then we would hit complete if we were going to play the game. And then if we could... We could start to create the family. We could do all that stuff. We can't do that right now because this is just the character creator that lets you create exactly one Zoe. Uh, and basically we're just sharing it on Canvas to kind of, uh, you know, get excited about the game coming out. Uh, so I believe the character creator is up until the 26th. So time is of the essence. If you want to try this out, go ahead and download it on Steam and, and have fun for a few days. And hopefully when the full game releases, we all, you know, we can just hop in and have a good time. So if you've hung out with me this long, thank you guys so much. And hopefully when this game releases, we'll have even more Enzoi content on this channel. I'm super hyped about this game. It looks amazing and I can't wait. So let me know what you guys are thinking. How do you feel about Enzoi? Do you think they're gonna end The Sims? I, I don't know. I think they both have their place in the space. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm curious what other people feel. So let me know and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.